and startups that have unique business ideas have a chance to secure a seed capital of up to $5,000 courtesy of the Tony Elumelu Foundation Entrepreneurship Program. The initiative targets to support youth-led businesses to grow their enterprises. Beneficiaries under the program will receive training before funding is extended. Small and medium enterprises are set to benefit from a seed capital funding program by the State Department for Devolution in partnership with the United Bank of Africa through the Tony Elumelu Foundation. The initiative looks to drive the growth of SME sector and youth innovation in the country. The whole essence of having this global network is to support trade in and out of Africa, support intra-Africa trade, but most importantly, support African governments African businesses to trade and relate to the rest of the world. The Ministry of Devolution says there is need for collaboration between the national and county governments in supporting young entrepreneurs through mentorship and funding programs. We want to see what is that which is there for us as counties, which is there for us as young people of this country. What is that we can tap to? Look at 5,000 US dollars, 5,000 US dollars given to a young person with an idea. It brings the change. The State Department considers the partnership as an opportunity to empower the general citizenry with skills, knowledge, and appropriate attitudes as a catalyst for sustainable development. Relating with the counties enables us to ensure that each county, at the minimum, have representative as beneficiaries of the Tony Elumelu Foundation. The partnership will focus on providing collections and payment platforms that support increased revenue collections and ease of reconciliations. According to the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics, at least 450,000 small businesses are often shut down annually in the country. The massive shutdown is translated to 30,000 monthly and 1,000 daily, the biggest in the region. The foundation believes that the private sector holds the key to unlocking Africa's economic potential. Andrew Kero for Prime Edition in Nairobi.